Today is unfortunately the day we lost Peter Tork. It's been like five years already. I can't believe that 2019 was five years ago. That's a bit crazy to me. But today we're talking about when Peter Tork helped George Harrison with um, an album. So I know what you're thinking. What did he do? He was the banjo. He contributed to the Wonderwall music soundtrack that was featured only in the movie but not on the album. And there's a photo of Peter helping. The creation of Wonderwall music, a series make marking the 55th anniversary of the recording sessions. And um, there's a, here's the thing. So here it is um, Peter talking about it. George invited me to play banjo on Wonderwall. He was working on the soundtrack for Wonderwall, and he invited me over to come and play, and I did. You can't hear it on the album. You can't hear it on the album. Uh, but apparently, and I've never seen the movie, but it's in the film. Yeah, it's in the film. Yeah. I think it was Paul's banjo. Paul had a five-string banjo, which he had strung backwards, of course, being left-handed. But it was all right with him if I restrung it, so... And British five-string banjos are different from American. The fifth string, instead of having a tuning peg right in the middle of the neck, it hits the tunnel, and the string goes through a tunnel to a fifth string peg at the, at the regular peg head. Very interesting. Very weird. But it was okay. Got some music in, that's all that mattered. So, um... Yeah. George was a kind... Was as kind and as a gentle man as you could imagine, which is what Peter said in 2011. And, um, Peter said in 2017, before he died, um, George invited me to his house. He played the sitar and said, I'm working on a soundtrack album. I'd love to have you play the little banjo. Tor had trouble without his instrument. Oh, so this isn't Peter saying it, never mind. So Harrison borrowed McCartney's five string banjo for the session, which Paul couldn't play. At least conventionally, because the folk five string banjo can't be restrung in reverse order for the left handers. It must be custom made. I played, oh no, this is, oh wait. I played for 45 minutes. George said thank you very much and went our separate ways. Torque's breezy contribution didn't make the record, but it can be heard 15 minutes into the film. After Collins is chided by his mother for spying through the wall. And I did not get paid, he laughs. George said, we'll figure that out later. He knew that the honor itself was payment enough. Um, and I think that's all I can say about this. So. Yeah. Oh, we have The Monkey Spectacular, May 1968. I'm just going to read the two. George was working on the musical score he wrote for the movie, Wonderwall. When Peter arrived at the studio, George asked him if he would play a five-string banjo on one of the cuts. Peter was more than delighted, and after a time, they put down some beautiful sounds. Peter mentioned to George that he liked to see the magical mystery tour of film, so George made arrangements for Peter to have a private screening at the hotel. Peter really flipped for the Beatles fantasy film and watched it through several times. One time, he even took color slides while it was being projected on the screen. Man, Peter, you're so cool. I love you, Peter. I miss you, Peter. Uh, anyways, okay, that's the um, that's the video. That's all I could do for now. So, you, what more do you want from me, man? I already did all the cool Peter stuff on his birthday. I talked about when he was a teacher for three years. I already talked about when he was on Blame Me to Run. What do you want me to do? His TV cameos. That's a lot of hard work.